Mark Rogers TV finishing off the Big 12 schedules by going to the top of the conference from 2013, the Baylor Bears. Yes, the Bears won the Big 12 for the first conference championship in school history going back to 1980. I remember it well. The Southwest Conference champion Baylor Bears met Bear Bryant and company in the Cotton Bowl and got trashed in that one 30-2. They got the safety 30-2. Last year it wasn't quite as bad, but Baylor unexpectedly uh, after rolling through the likes of Texas and Oklahoma. They embarrassed Oklahoma, met Central Florida, were a 13 or 14 point favorite and lost that one, I believe, 52 42. All right, Baylor, you're post RG3 Baylor. You're not Baylor 1987 Baylor, 19, 2002 Baylor. You were good for a couple of years there, good, relatively speaking, in the mid 90s. Something in that range, you went to a few bowl games. But after that, it was atrocious. Art Bryles, you should be permanent Big 12 Coach of the Year, regardless of what happens uh, season to season, because Baylor was dead and gone, and it's been resurrected, no doubt. But Baylor, okay, we'll give you a pass on this schedule. But now, going forward, you're a contender. Schedule somebody, non-conference. You have to. SMU, Northwestern State, Buffalo. SMU, Northwestern State, and Buffalo. Okay, again, Baylor. This is not Baylor 10 years ago. This is Baylor, who is supposed to be competing for conference championships with Texas, beyond Texas now, at least temporarily, and with Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, in the Big 12, and scheduling SMU, Northwestern State, and Buffalo. Okay, the SMU game. I love SMU. Got to check out SMU's schedule. We talked to June Jones a few weeks ago. We really need to check out SMU's schedule because I believe they've got Texas A&M. They've got Baylor. They've got somebody else on that schedule that's really difficult. SMU's got a tougher schedule, possibly, definitely in the non-conference, than Baylor. That should not happen. Baylor, you need to beat everyone 60 to nothing to get into the college football playoff because you will have proven nothing absolutely nothing and i was hard on alabama they would have at least beaten west virginia two and seven in the big 12 last year but alabama would have at least beaten west virginia outside of conference play uh but this schedule is atrocious smu northwestern state in buffalo i think that buffalo game and this is going to be minus khalil mack was 70 to 7 or whatever it was all right so they're three and oh then they dive into the big 12 uh, the Baylor Bears will have four conference games at home, five on the road. That could be key. They should be in good shape going to Ames, Iowa to take on the Cyclones. 4-0. Then they go to Texas. Baylor will be, unless something drastically happens between now and October 4th, Baylor should be about a 20-point favorite against Texas. How many times have we said that in the past? That could be a trip up, though. TCU at home. West Virginia on the road. So we're looking at 7-0. and Go to Kansas or Kansas at home for homecoming. That's a good homecoming opponent, of course, the Kansas Jayhawks in football. All right, then the stretch drive is difficult, and Baylor will trip up. At Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, Texas Tech, and Kansas State. Well, two of those games are at home, one on the road, and they've actually got the Texas Tech game scheduled for Jerry's World at Cowboys Stadium. So the uh, the, the Dallas Cowboys love hosting these games, don't they, at uh, the, the big uh, arena down there in uh, Dallas or wherever the suburb is uh, that used to be Texas Stadium back in Irving, but they, they've set that thing up somewhere else. Texas Tech and Baylor are going to play a game there as well. I didn't know that. So again, the stretch drive for Baylor, difficult, but this is not a difficult schedule to navigate. The Big 12 is marginal, not deplorable by any stretch. Oklahoma State's quality, Oklahoma could be really good, could win the national championship. Um, TCU is going to be decent. Texas will win seven or eight games, probably seven. Uh, it's going to be difficult to, for Texas to get through with less than five losses. Kansas State's a quality team. Baylor's good. I'm ripping on them right now for this schedule, but the football team can't. I know you football players cannot uh, cannot control the scheduling, 
So the Baylor Bears are legit and, of course, will have the explosive offense once again this season. We will keep our eyes on the Baylor Bears. But unfortunately, it will be until at least October 4th until we actually need to really pay much attention to Baylor when they take on the Texas Longhorns in Austin. But again, the stretch drive at Oklahoma, Oklahoma State. Texas Tech at Arlington, Texas. That's where it is, Arlington, Texas. And then they've got Kansas State. Uh, That game at home as well, which could decide the conference championship. All right, Baylor fans, I know that I've ripped on your schedule. I will not rip on your football team. Uh, It's a quality team. Art Bryles has done an amazing job. One of the better coaching jobs outside of Bill Snyder in recent years all over college football. All right, Baylor, let's talk about it. 2014 schedule is out, and we're just about six days away from college football. Right here on Mark Rogers TV.